Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Elle and I make videos about all the nicer things in life. So if you are into that, please consider like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Now let's get into the video. This is my first impression of my new Loewe mini puzzle edge. So this is the bag. She looks pretty. I haven't worn her since I got back from my trip, so yeah. She's still precious as I got her. So let's start with a general overview of this bag. This is the Puzzle Edge version where the stitches are on top of each other. And to be honest, this design actually grows on me since in the past year and that's why i decided to like yeah you know what it's time i also kind of want a mini bag so yeah so this definitely helps and then i will put the dimension of the bag on the screen so you can see how tiny it is the leather uh so this is the green calf skin uh, with gold hardware and zippers as well and the color is a super wearable neutral color for me and it matches easily with everything in my wardrobe like even now like i can use this bag today next let's talk about the wear and tear of the bag after i purchased this i immediately wore it out the neck the very next day because i'm so excited to bring her out and see how capable of a small bag it is uh, i will put pictures here to see how i wore it while i was in spain as well as i brought this bag to the cruise holiday with my family with me in that short amount of time the leather has truly softened which makes the opening a lot easier so it used to be like a bit rigid the first few days that i use it but now it can you know you can open it so easily it can increase so you can see your items inside and the bag itself is so malleable so you can squish it however you like and it's still good it's it's still good so so this is my mini but mighty bag it fits so much and that leads to what fits in this bag so the inside looks like that it's a, oh that's just the Louis card stuff that you need to have i guess i should probably keep that inside the box but yeah so that's the inside there's no pocket like the small size one so it's fabric line and yeah there's no pockets and good thing there's a gusset here so you can definitely open and see it so there's even tested little tag made in spain inside there let's talk about what fits inside <laughs> So these are basically my essentials. So I'm gonna show you what I can put inside. So the first one is a medium sized wallet. I just changed out to this one. So this is the Chanel uh, Zippy card holder, I think. So it fits. Next is a power bank. So this is the smaller power bank that I have. This is the 5000 one. Um, yeah it works well it also can fit the thicker 10,000 one as long as as it's like short and chubby not like long and slim you're good the wires my phone wires i mean even though they has MagSafe, but it's kind of slow so i rather have wires and then my and then my car keys fits inside for my smaller bits, I all I usually have the pouch. And to be honest, I think the pouch with my bits inside can fit here. Can fit, but I don't want to. It's so hard to 
you know if i want to pay for something to take out my card it's kind of hard so i rather not do that so i'm gonna show you all the little things so i have eye drops it's super easy a lipstick again a lip balm can fit there a mini perfume this is a how much is this this is the 10 mil one fits there and my trusty bag hook yeah. so that fits everything inside it looks disorganized right now but if you organize it uh it fits i think a little bit more extra things so okay let's see if i can fit my wallet with a pop socket thingy with a phone holder so it fits it's in front here but it's tight so you know i have my wallet back there that my power bank uh car keys and all my little bits are in there somewhere but it fits it's heavy everything here is heavy so i'm not sure if you want to carry that much but no your essentials and a little bit more definitely fits inside here and oh it also fits passport i don't have my passport right here with me but trust me it fits <laughs> so for the con so the pros and cons of this bag well i think i already mentioned my pros for this bag but a few cons that i'd say like in a subjective manner i guess um the cons for this bag is not sh so this is for all the puzzle bags not sure about the others but the lobster claw doesn't turn 360 degrees if you know what i mean so this is the strap that comes with it so you can see there's this lobster claw but it doesn't swivel 360 it barely swivel 180 <laughs> so yeah so when you put the strap on the back so you have to put it you know carefully but when it gets tangles it's gonna do this weird thing and you have to do the dance of you know unhook it and do that so both of the lobster claw both of my puzzle bags have this type of lobster claw so that's why my small puzzle bag because of that um you can see the matte finish uh comes off um the lobster claw a bit i i think i'm gonna mention that in my collection bag so so yeah so that's the annoying thing but you can you know solve it right away but you just have to do that awkward dance you know about the bag and hooks that's it um it doesn't have a small pocket but for a small bag i don't think you need it i mean it's an extra nice thing you have somewhere to slit your parking tickets i guess but but tickets now are going you know cashless anyway so i guess well in my eyes there's no particular con of this bag for me except for the um non-swivel lobster claw but that's fine it's not a big con for me obviously i love the bag and the strap is adjustable and i do use this as a mini bag yes it doesn't hold a lot but it holds enough for me and i brought it to travel with me what can you say it's really good next let's talk about price so relatively i think loewe is a mid-tier luxury brand i'd say um because in malaysian ringgit this is hitting the 10,000 ringgit mark so if you go overseas it's much more cheaper 
or Europe it's much more cheaper anyway and it can be lower than that and on top of that you can also get a tax refund whenever you buy something from overseas so I bought this bag for 1634 euros after the tax refund so I glad I did bought it while I was in Spain and Spain has one of the highest tax refund which is I think 14% so I think it's subpar with Italy I think so yeah definitely think about if you do want to buy this in your local Malaysian store um, if you are buying it in Malaysia right now it currently retails for 10,850 ringgit uh, it's a no for me because that's a 2,500 ish price difference and that's a plane ticket to Europe for me and um, if you're the type of pe person that you know will just buy these things and you don't care for traveling for it I say go for it but I like to travel and during my travels I like to pick up you know souvenirs of a bag when I do do that so I think like currently I don't have a bag no I have one bag that I actually bought in the Malaysian store which is the LV and and a few SLGs but that's about it and um, after that I after COVID and after you can travel easily you know you can definitely do that I I would definitely do that because in my case I don't have a store near me so yeah I would definitely go traveling to buy this so I know planning a trip would cost more you know you have your flights accommodations transportation your food your whatever activities you want to do it costs money and so it's up to you uh, and you know what my answer is because I repeatedly <laughs> said no I'm not it's not worth it to buy in your local store <laughs> yeah in conclusion is it worth the buy this as my first mini luxury bag it's a yes for me uh, it fits my style so well because I usually just casually anywhere you can if if that's not obvious um, and I couldn't imagine other bags as my first mini bags though I did consider the mini Chanel flap but uh, I'm not sure currently that fits my style it's hard to say because I did, I did try on a few um, maybe because of the cool thing it looks dressier than it needs to be but it's a mini bag you know you get me so uh it's just not for me at this point in my life i guess uh yeah that is it for this video so if you have any questions or you want to share your opinion about this bag comment down below and i'll answer them or reply to them in any way that i can so yeah that is it for today's video and i hope to see you on the next one bye